Hello. Hello. I'd like to extend my stay. What's your room number? Sorry, I can't remember. My husband checked in for us yesterday. His name is Wei Ming. His ID number is 301152. Will it be the two of you extending the stay today? Could you please show me your room key card? Okay? Sure, sure, that's perfect. Awesome. All right, all right then. Hey, what are you up to? How long have we postponed taking a picture together? Could you take a picture of us? Why are you mixing personal stuff with work? It's okay. Three, two, one, cheese. This graduation design competition is really important. It directly affects job placement. You're definitely going to be first place. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Just boldly go forward. I've got your back. I'll always support you. Lin Shuang. What are you doing? Trust me, I will definitely provide a warm haven for you. Really? A safe home. Do you believe me? I believe. I thought, regardless of what changes life brings, as long as you're passionate and give it your all, you'll eventually find your ideal home. No one told me. From the moment I decided to stay at home, my life felt like a grounded goose, stuck in the mud, no longer able to freely love the blue sky. Yes. I just got home. What's up? What happened? You can't always blame our product department, right? So. When there's a problem, who's taking the blame? I'll talk to them again. We'll finalize it in tomorrow's meeting. How about we have a meeting together tomorrow noon? Call everyone. Hello? Who's this? Uh. Mr. Shu? Yes, yes, I remember, I remember. We met at the last conference. Let me check, I have a meeting tomorrow noon. How about we meet after the meeting? Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Honey. I felt you were acting strange today. The scent of perfume on your shirt. It's quite strong. Really? This afternoon we had hot pot. Then I met with a client. Mishu said I smelled, so she sprayed some of her perfume on me. Is it really unpleasant? That call just now. It was Mr. Shu from Zichin Tech. Don't look at me like that. If you don't trust me, you can call him yourself. No need. Have you been feeling bored at home lately? 
Yes, quite bored. Well, if you're bored, you can always exercise or meet up with your girlfriends for an afternoon tea. Distract yourself a bit. Staying at home too long isn't good. It can make one feel depressed. If it affects you negatively, I'd be heartbroken. Honey, this afternoon, I went golfing. It's been a while. I strained my back a bit, trying too hard. Seems I need to exercise more. Golf is a strange sport. It's like competing with oneself. The harder you try, the less distance you get. You may feel that your thoracic spine has rotated, but your feelings and actual experience are different. I should play more often. Can't sit in the office for too long. I feel my stamina isn't what it used to be. I need to recover. Come, let me help you. Right here at the scapula. Oh. After you left today, my colleagues praised you so much. They said your wife is not only beautiful, but she also has a remarkable aura. They can see. You take very good care of me, very meticulously. They even asked how long we've been married. I said our kids are quite grown. <laughs> Especially the younger girls in the company. They kept asking, what's the secret to keeping love fresh between you two? Honey, what do you think is our secret to keeping our love fresh? You are the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Give it to me, it's really okay. Relax your shoulders, anchor your feet, lift your head up, good. Now, lift your left foot, place it close to your thigh, then bring your hands together. Relax your shoulders, relax. Relax and reset. Extend your right foot to the side. Open your arms. Lower your shoulders. Keep your hands level. Remember to breathe.
hello? Hi there. Is this your first time here? How about I give you a tour? I can show you around. Mm. This way, please. Everyone, relax. How do you feel today? Do your shoulders feel much better? As you can see, our environment here is really quite pleasant. Over here is our resting area. After their workouts, members usually rest here. We also offer some refreshments, like coffee and ice cream. What would you like? I'll have an Americano, please. All right, just a moment. That bracelet is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. My boyfriend gave it to me. He has good taste. Here's your coffee, enjoy. Let me show you more. This way, please. What you see now is our fitness area. Over here is the equipment section. Take a look. Our speciality is that our fitness studio is a new type of social intercourse gym. We mainly offer small group intelligent classes. Each class has only six participants. We offer a variety of courses, such as high intensity training. Our changing room is also quite nice. I can show you if you're interested in it. Come on, right this way. husband. He's young, handsome, and affluent. A man like him. You know how many young girls out there have their eyes on a guy like that? Mom! Are you saying that your cousin's husband cheated on her? It's not about who made a mistake. It's not right or wrong. I read an article recently. It made a lot of sense. It said that men are half child, half beast. This animal instinct is in their genes. Humans have evolved for thousands of years, and we're still blaming animal instincts? I just want to say, cheer up. And make your cousin cheer up, too. He's a man. Maybe he was just looking for some excitement, on an impulse. Perhaps after a few days, his guilty conscience will kick in. After so many years of marriage, should I just rely on his guilty conscience to move forward? What are you thinking? Considering divorce? No way, absolutely not. You have to stay calm right now. That mistress just... Find a way to deal with her privately. Don't act rashly. Life goes on. If men make mistakes, why should women suffer in silence? Yes, yes, I know. It's indeed unfair. When a man cheats, it's like eating a fly. Swallowing it is disgusting, but spitting it out isn't pleasant either. Let me be more realistic. One is a successful elite. One is a housewife. One just got divorced. Isn't it clear? Who's better? If the boss fires us, we can find another job. But if your husband leaves you, with your age showing, how can you start over? Leaving your husband 
might mean you've lost, but we can't lose everything. And we can't afford to. Guogo's getting off school soon. I've got to go. One last thing. Tell your cousin. No path is easy. And she chose this one. So she better think it through carefully. I see Dachun's rooftop. What's that sound? Oh, it's the dragon. Dance on the main street. Where is it? Where? I tiptoed to get a better view. Guo Guo, Daddy's home. Guo Guo! Daddy! Why aren't you asleep yet? She's been waiting for you. Waiting for me? What's up? Daddy, Saturday is the father-son sports day at preschool. Can you make it? I have to work this weekend. Some important meetings. But... <laughs> I'll try my best. For Guogo, everything else can wait. Because Guogo is the most important person in our family. Long live, Daddy! Then our team needs a super awesome name, right? How about the Trembling Opponents? The Trembling Opponents. I think it's not scary enough. What about the Triple Beat White Bone Demon? Great! <laughs> Head. <laughs> the great sage, back to your room. Daddy. Marriage isn't dating. It's not just emotional relationship. It's societal attachment. Besides yourself, think of your parents. Think of the kids. Honey, why isn't the razor charged? Honey. What are you looking at? Nothing. Just feeling a bit off. Where don't you feel well? It's nothing. Maybe just tired lately. Let me get you some water. Honey, where's the switch? For our water purifier? Found it, found it. Is the temperature setting? On this round thing on top? When did you get this water purifier? It's not even touchscreen. Where's your cup? In the top cupboard? The white one's yours or the transparent one? Honey? Honey? Lin Shuang, you're pushing too hard. Your due date passed, and you're still not resting. Well, there's no sign yet. And with the promotion opportunity coming, how can I slack off? Xiao Nan, did you notice? During your testing, whenever you initialize with a null pointer, the kernel code execution throws an error, right? Yes. So, change the type to size T. All right, I'll give it a try. What happened? I think my water broke. Amniotic fluid? Okay, I'll go get Wyming. Come on, let's go. Are you okay? Want some water? No, no need. You guys, try changing the data type. At a time like this, you're still working? Honey, is everything all right? It's okay, I'm here. 
Re-identify the vehicle characteristics. Optimize to 16 dimension. 16 is too few. We can't ensure accuracy. Did you discuss this with him? Well... Okay, okay, I'll talk to him. Is the milk ready? Ooh. Time for milk, Gogo. Honey, mm -hmm. I think for the first time, I feel like I can't do anything right. Gogo needs you now. And you're up for a promotion. Balancing work and family, doing one well, is already hard enough. You need to think seriously and make a choice for yourself whether to advance or stay put. Careful, careful. This fell off here. Here, Dad will fix it for you. Go, go, kick it this way. Passing to you. <laughs> Mommy. Come. Here's your VIP card. Keep it safe. Thank you. By the way, you can now book this week's classes on our public account. Have a look. We offer a wide range of courses. Which class did that member from last time choose? You mean Zhang Shi, right? You can check out that Tabata core training. This bracelet must have been expensive. I've had my eyes on it for a while. It's a basic model, not too pricey. A luxury brand and not expensive? Your boyfriend must be doing pretty well. My boyfriend says, a woman should wear such things to accentuate herself. It's not about the cost on my wrist, but his love for me. If he truly loved you, he wouldn't buy just a basic model to label his affection. How old is your boyfriend? About your age. Really? A man his age. And so well off? Must be quite the catch. Any plans to get married? My boyfriend? He's married. All right, folks, let's begin the class. Come, everyone, stand in the center of the mat. We'll now proceed with partner yoga. Now, may we have our student in the black outfit come up for partner yoga? Then other students feel free to pair up. Come follow me. Come on, let's do this together. Everyone can join hands. Spread your legs apart. Now follow along with me for partner yoga. Being the third wheel. Love might have come a bit late, but in these matters, 
It's not about who came first or last. Dressing up stealing and taking in such a refined manner. Being able to snatch and steal, that's a skill. Not everyone possesses it. Don't mistake a moment of happiness for a lifetime. In his eyes, you're nothing. Are you okay? Sorry. It's my first class. I'm not familiar with the moves. Did you get hurt? Check your ankle. I'm fine. Though he may be an executive, all his shares are held by someone else on his behalf. If you divorce, you won't get a dime. Right. Yes. That's the idea. Although courts support mental distress compensation, they might only award you a few tens of thousands. So I suggest, if he truly has signs of infidelity, you must consider your marital, your marital joint assets. Don't wait until you're divorced and find out you're left with nothing. Better safe than sorry. Hold on for a moment. Yes. Post-marital assets between spouses are mutual, but the right to know about these assets is very limited. It's hard to find out how much money the other party has. My husband mentioned that he made a purchase without researching last time. But from the documents you showed me, there's a premium insurance plan that looks good. I'd like to know more. If it's suitable, please convert the ones, including a few open-ended products, to that insurance. Didn't your husband tell you? Those open-ended products under his name were all redeemed a few days ago. Oh, right? He might have forgotten to inform me. <laughs> Hello? Lin Shuang. Mom and Dad bought a lot of groceries, said they're coming over to cook tonight. They haven't seen Guogu in a while. Miss mm. Lin, is there anything else? No, nothing. All right, go on with your work. Guogu, sweetie. Grandpa! Do you know how much Grandpa missed you, Lin Shuang? How about spending the weekend with Grandpa and Grandma? I'll take you to the wildlife park. Grandma! My little Guogo is back. Smell this delicious chicken soup? <laughs> Look how fragrant it is. Quickly wash your hands and let's eat. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. The chicken I got today? I specially went early in the morning to the market to buy from the farmers. This chicken is raised by farmers. It doesn't eat feed. It just roams around the land eating bugs. It's nutritious. <laughs> now, the free-range chicken you buy in supermarkets, it's not authentic chicken. The chicken I bought, that's completely the real deal. A genuine free-range chicken. <laughs> Come on, have some. I watched them butcher it. Ah. <sighs> I'm just basking in my son's glory. If I were at home, I wouldn't be treated this well. What are you talking about? You make it sound like I abuse you. Speak with some conscience. Our Ming Ming works so hard. All day and night, it's all for this family. If I don't nourish him, who will? Lin Shuang, the fish I steamed today, it's very tender. Come on, have some. It's okay, Mom. I'll help myself. Ming Ming, I noticed recently you've lost a lot of weight. And you look pale. Your mother only comes once a month to cook for you. You have to eat more today. Have some chicken soup. Here. By the way, the bank recommended a premium insurance to me. It seems pretty good. I'm thinking of converting all our open-ended financial products into this one. Didn't we agree before to save an education fund for Guogo? Come on. Shouldn't we study the insurance more? We can't just impulsively buy it. 
Forgot to tell you, that money... I've already transferred it out because I needed it urgently. Ah! This seasonal dish, pickled lean meat and fresh, it's very fresh. Eat up. Transferred out? Uh. Mm. Where did it go? That money was used to buy a villa. I'm telling you, it's rare to find a good property. It was so crowded. Almost impossible to get. Our family bought a villa, and I had no idea. I didn't get the chance to tell you. After dinner, I'll fill you in. Gogul, eat first. I need to step out. You continue eating. You're mad? It's my fault. My fault. My fault. Explain to me. Wife. First, buying a house is an investment, right? And the housing market is stable now. Property prices change every day. I had a client who's in real estate. He happened to have a few internal low price properties. Look, the floor plan is right here. Prime location. And this layout, it's a rare one. I think buying a house is definitely a better deal than that insurance you mentioned. It's a sure win. If I hadn't bought it, then someone else would have. In that moment, I didn't notify you right away. So the house is... under your parents' name? We're all family. Whose name it's under doesn't matter. Elders. They care about formalities. We, as their children, just want to make them happy. I'm the only child in our family. Isn't what's theirs also ours? It's yours, isn't it? Then isn't mine also yours? We're a couple, aren't we? <laughs> this Lin Shuang. Always asking questions, like he's interrogating someone. Honestly? I've told you guys long ago. For matters like this, you should give people a heads up. Look at us now. Sneaking around. Like we did something wrong. <laughs> You don't work, but you sure know how to control the money. Aren't you the same? Who are you talking about? Say that again. Say it again. Before you came back, Mom and Dad were lecturing me, saying we should have discussed this with you first. They said our daughter-in-law is very respectful and caring towards them. If I care for them? Who's going to care for me and little Guogo? I will. All the family matters. Aren't you the one making decisions? You hid such a big thing from me. I didn't hide it from you. If I hadn't bought it, someone else would have. I'm all yours. Come on, don't be mad. Let's eat. Ming Ming. Let's eat. It's getting cold. Coming. Not mad anymore, right? Ming Ming, come eat. Come on, let's eat. Is the chicken soup good, Guo Guo? It's good. Ming Ming, how many times has mom told you? Keep a close eye on that money. After all, isn't Lin Shuang in charge of the house? But you're the one earning, right? You need to hold on to it tighter, understand? I know, mom. Let's eat, dad. Come on, come on. Let grandma feed you, grandma feed. Lin Shuang, we're leaving. Honey. Have some grapefruit tea to calm down. Today's matter, I admit it was my mistake. I'll remember the lesson. From now on, in our home, whether it's big or small, I'll report to you first. Let my dear wife make the final decision. Don't worry about Guogu's insurance. By the end of the year, once I get my annual bonus, I'll save for her. We only have Guogu in our family. Whether it's the house or the insurance, isn't it all hers? Let's not talk about the distant future. Your daughter has a sports day tomorrow. You promised her you'd go. I remember it well. I had a meeting scheduled, but I pushed it. No matter how important the client or how big the deal, Guogo is the most important. We both agreed to use a combined name aiming for the championship.
事到如今，已失去了拥抱，像一只囚鸟。那些有过的美好，在风中缠绕，无力再争吵。Lin Shuang, Yang Yun, your baby's sick too. Yeah, Guo Guo sick too. She's had diarrhea for several days. I'm worried. You came alone? Where's your husband, your mother-in-law, your mother? Wei Ming got a promotion recently, and he's been sent abroad. The elders. I didn't want to bother them. You're just trying to prove yourself. To take a child to the doctor, you need at least three adults: one to hold the child, one to carry the bag and get medicine, and another to park、They're、and drive. Us. Let's chat later. Chat later. Let my husband help you. No need. No need. I can handle it on my own. Top student, elite white collar. How did you end up like this? It's such a pity. Enough of that. Hurry. Let's go. What happened this time? Didn't you promise Guogo? Dad can't make it again, right? But Dad did say he'd come home early today. And have dinner with Guogo. Then I'll pretend to believe him one more time. Okay, let's believe him one more time. Weren't the meeting details communicated in advance? They had to call me back on a weekend, making me miss my child's kindergarten event. Mr. Lee insisted on you attending. We had no choice. Okay, I admit, it was me who insisted on you attending. You sly fox. Isn't it because I miss you? Don't, Don't mistake, mistake a fleeting a pleasure, pleasure for eternal happiness. happiness. In his eyes, you're nothing. Dear parents, our childhood dreams sports soaring father-child sports day is about to begin. Please, all the kids participating in the three-legged race and their fathers, come over here to get ready. Guo Gu, today's incident was Dad's fault. Mom apologizes on his behalf.、Hmm. I wonder if I might have a chance to join our little Guo Gu in the race. There's a chance to participate in the race. All right, let's do our best. Little Guo Gu, where's your dad? Why did your mom come? My mom and I are also awesome. One two one two one two. One two one two this way. One two one two one two. One two one two. One two one two one two. Go for it. Come on. Our brand's core concept is divided into four sections: overview of the beauty industry and analysis of beauty video users, beauty hot trends, and insights into beauty users. Online beauty content mainly includes beauty classes, live classes developed internally or by third parties, like influencers and other beauty content from providers, using artificial intelligence algorithms. Move forward. One two one two one two. One two one two one two. Hurry. One two one two one two. One two hurry.
Mr. Lee next will have the specifics introduced by Michelle. Okay. All right. All right, Mr. Lee, what I'm going to talk about next is our main goal is to accumulate users. First place goes to our little Yang Yang. Let me put this on you. Second place goes to our little Tao Tao. Third place to wake action. Let me put this on you. Starting from scratch, you can introduce new traffic through this virtual website. New enterprises can also access the market through a virtual website, thus increasing their customer base, giving the brand more marketing channels. For the beginners, it provides a comprehensive and almost nanny-style beauty guide. Attract users with free content to build an initial user base. Mom? Look, this is what I made. Let me see. Guo Guo, you're amazing. Is it pretty? It's beautiful. I want to know, why are you dressed like this? Wait. <laughs> Don't! Step on my dress! <laughs> this dress is expensive. Cost me a month's salary. Spending so much. To please me? Hmm? Who said it's to please you? Aren't you attending Mr. Lee's birthday? He is a major client of our Ark. He's our bread and butter. If I don't dress up, how can I show the Ark's regard for him? Oh. Mr. Wei, look. I've also prepared so much material. <sighs> I've pulled several all-nighters for this. You might not be able to attend the dinner party this time. Why? Didn't you promise that Mr. Lee's orders will be handed over to me? It's a different matter. The work coordination with Mr. Lee will still be handed to you. The birthday dinner is a private invitation. Mr. Lee will bring his wife. And for me, bringing you might not be appropriate. It's basic social etiquette. Private parties are boring. My main purpose of attending is to help maintain a good relationship with Mr. Lee for you. Once this project is successful, won't it be enough for your promotion credentials? Right? Wei Ming, what do you need for the dinner party? Tell me. I'll arrange it for you. Do you know... your biggest strength? You're considerate.
Okay. You should head home early. I'll finish the remaining slides. For you. You look so beautiful. I wouldn't bear to. Bring you to the dinner party. For others to admire. You're mine. Whenever you're back to being single, whether at home or at the office, I'll be that person who understands you the most. Now everyone stretch out your hands, place our palms on the floor, forehead touches the ground. Good, push hard with your palms, push our hips forward, shoulders extend outward, come to the cobra pose. Once again, push with your palms, sit your buttocks on your heels, palms together in front of the chest, thumb lightly touching the forehead, inhale, lift our elbows, exhale. Use the left hand to hold the outer thigh. Right hand goes back. Eyes look towards the extension of the right shoulder. Breathe. Now straighten the body. Then we sit cross-legged. This class is over. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you, teacher. Thank you. Dear, look quickly, look quickly. This is the bag I told you about. The limited edition from 2018. Look, in less than three years, it has more than doubled in value. Really? I was telling you I have a client who bought all styles in this series. Truly a discerning eye. It's just a basic model. But honestly, these luxury items can increase by 20% annually, easily outperforming the GDP. For ordinary people, buying a bag is pure consumption. But for the rich, every penny spent is an investment. You work at ARC? I just saw you, coming out from the ARC building. 
I work in the ARC product department. What a coincidence. My husband is Wei Ming. I'm his wife, Lin Shuang. You work at ARC? I just saw you coming out from the ARC building. I work in the product department at ARC. What a coincidence! My husband is Wei Ming. I'm his wife, Lin Shuang. Lin Shuang. Such a small world. Wei Ming never mentioned you? Perhaps my job performance is just average. He wouldn't mention me. You're very beautiful. And you seem smart. Any boss would like an employee like you. Now that we know each other, let me give you a piece of advice. Find a decent boyfriend for yourself. It's not worth wasting your time on someone else's husband. It's love. I love him. For fame or benefit, I can understand. But you're in love with a married man. That's just unseemly. Years ago, he and his wife were truly married on paper. But now all that remains of their relationship is just that piece of paper. I've heard his wife is rather dull. She's materialistic, doesn't understand him at all. Always busy with house chores. She dresses plainly and smells like mothballs. They hardly meet. And when they do, she's always asking for money. If not for their child, I think they would have separated long ago. Knowing he's married and still trying to be with him, that's shameless. In love, it's more shameful to be the one not loved. This man clearly doesn't love you anymore, and you keep clinging on to him. That's a real waste of time. Have you ever wondered why his wife is undesirable? He still sticks with her? Because he never thought of leaving. I got your WeChat at the front desk. Let's stay in touch. Eh? Hey? Whose cute kid is this? So cute. A friend's child. Hey. Honey, a couple of days ago, many new handbags arrived in my store. Some are almost brand new, used only once or twice. The prices are such a steal. Come check them out. All right. Coming. Hello, here's your package. Hey. Thank you. Not a problem. So pretty.
Hello? Did you receive the clothes? Hmm. Why would you order them? Tomorrow afternoon, you accompany me to Mr. Lee's birthday party. I can't tomorrow. I need to take Guo Guo to the amusement park. Tell Guo Guo we'll accompany her next time. Mr. Lee is now my most important client. Which is more important, client or daughter? Of course, my daughter is more important. Our company's vice president left. The new vice president will be chosen between me and Feng Kai. Did you get the clothes? Originally, Wei was supposed to take me tomorrow, but something came up on my end, so I'm counting on you now. By the way, the dress was chosen based on my size. I'm not sure if it'll fit you. You know, a lot of things in life are like clothes. If it doesn't fit and you force it, you just end up looking ridiculous. Right, Lin Shuang? Tomorrow afternoon, we'll meet directly. I'll send you the address on WeChat. I have to go, bye. Gogo, time to stop playing. All right. Although this dress is pretty and stunning, however, it doesn't really suit you, Mon. What's not suitable about it? It's my work attire for tomorrow. What does work attire exactly mean? Work attire means the dress I have to wear because of work. Oh. Gogo. Tomorrow I'll drop you off at Grandma's. All right. Here, continue drawing. Honey, you look beautiful today. Really? This gown suits you so well. It's stunning. I usually don't wear this kind of style. Even Guogo knows that. A change in style once in a while makes a deep impression. Glad I chose it for you. You chose it for me. But you got a size too small. Had I not taken it to adjustments, your efforts would have been wasted. That's on me. It's been a while since I shopped for you. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad. This client tonight is extremely important to me. You'll be my secret weapon. Over here, two lovely ladies. Thank you. Beautiful scenery, fine wine. We must get Mr. Lee tipsy tonight. To getting tipsy. Cheers, Wei. What's going on? <laughs> Nicely done. Good. Showcasing love. Good. Showcasing love. What a perfect match. Sorry, Mr. Lee. Sister-in-law, sorry we're late. No worries. Wei, confident in your good looks? Your arrival put on a romance for everyone. Well, we haven't even had dinner. But we're full of your couple goals. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me introduce everyone. This is the director of ARC's product department, Mr. Wei. This is my old friend, Mr. Ma. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ma. Mr. Wei, pleasure. Wei from ARC. All right. This is Mr. Wang. Mr. Wei, pleasure. Nice to meet you. Wei, why not introduce your wife? My wife, Lin Shuang. She was my college classmate, a former colleague at ARC. Now she's dedicated herself to our home. Ah, oh. One focuses outside, the other inside. A match of talent and beauty. A perfect duo. <laughs> Mr. Ma, always poking fun at me. Obsessed with work, but it can't be just work all the time, right? At this age...
You guys don't understand. It's just that I haven't met someone as talented and beautiful as Mrs. Wei. Otherwise, why would I be single for so long? So I should learn from you. <laughs> My wife, Lin Shuang, has great values, is virtuous, frugal since our marriage, and she's raised our child very well. To be honest, over all these years, she's been the shining light in my heart. Come on to the shining light. Cheers! To the shining light. <laughs> Lin Shuang, though a bit reserved, had many admirers, but not many pursued her. That's how Wei got his chance. I heard his wife is clueless about romance, very practical, always thinking of household chores. They hardly see each other. When they do, she's asking for money. If not for their child, I bet they would have split long ago. We're cutting the cake now! Come on, everyone! Cake time! How much have you drunk? Not much. Excuse us, please. Thank you, thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry. Jonathan! Huh? Is that really you? Jonathan! It's been so long. I've been here for a while, and you never reached out. That's on me. Let me introduce you. This is my wife, Lin Shuang. Lin Shuang, my close friend from abroad. Jonathan. I know of you, Lin Shuang. You were the champion of the Global University Programming Contest. We were so disappointed. You didn't come to Silicon Valley. Where are you working now? I have to know who took you, such a genuine talent from ARC. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you should stop drinking. Right now, I mostly handle mundane tasks day and night. Do some trivial things. Arranging meals for a day. Organizing clothes and sometimes driving around. <laughs> this, such a waste of your talent. What's your salary for a month? How did they get you on board? Unpaid. All in the name of love. Mrs. Wei, you have a sense of humor. Jonathan, Lin Shuang is Wei's wife. Jonathan knows. When Lin Shuang was at Ark, she was core to the business. After having the baby, she chose to step back. I deeply respect her decision. It's up to me to carry on with our dreams. Keep fighting. <laughs> Mr. Wei is a responsible man. A good husband, a good father. And a good boss. He can make his employees wholeheartedly Give without expecting anything in return. <laughs> Are you feeling the alcohol? If Mrs. Wei wants to rest, there's a makeup room there. My wife can hold her liquor very well. There's a breeze by the river. I'll take her to freshen makeup and rest. Excuse me. Still drinking? Don't you know your limits? Why are you showing off? Drink some water. Did I say something wrong earlier? I may be drunk, but I wasn't talking nonsense. Mr. Wei, is it because you've been immersed in work? And not talk with me? I know you've been taking care of our child at home, and I'm sorry for that. The sacrifices you made for this family and our child. I've always noticed. That's why I've been trying to compensate. I work so hard. Entertaining clients, all to earn more money. So that you can be comfortable at home 
and not have to haggle over pennies like other women. I know. Lately, I've been too wrapped up in work, neglecting your feelings. I don't want to work overtime. I'd rather be at home, spend time with you and our child. But who will earn money to support the family? I can. Weiming, have you forgotten? I gave up my own career, willingly became a homemaker. So you could work without worries. Why does it now sound like I'm just enjoying my life at home? At the expense of your hard work and bitterness? Wife? In pregnancy and childbirth, I can't replace you. But resigning, becoming a homemaker, those were your choices. I've always respected them. So all these years, you took care of the household, and I worked to support the family. In my eyes, you're the most responsible woman in the world. I regret it now. I thought everything would remain the same. It's all my fault. I didn't know. You've harbored so much resentment. Believe me, you're not an unpaid employee under me. You're my beloved wife. I love you. Today's gathering is very important for me and our family. It's for you, not for us. You're drunk. I'll handle Mr. Lee. I'll arrange a car for you to go home. Once you're home, remember to call me. Good girl. Behave. Are you satisfied with the evening dress? The design of the evening dress is great. It looks slightly sexy. But you did a good job. After all, you don't get to attend such occasions often. Also, the dress hem's a bit long. Poor Wei Ming had to carry me for a bit. Isn't that Gu Xu? Huh? Mr. Gu. Gu Xu from Puliu? Yeah. Can you introduce me later? Of course. Long time no see? Long time no see indeed. Let me introduce you. Mr. Li. Hello, Mr. Gu. Hello, hello. I've heard a lot about you. What are you testing now? I've updated an algorithm on my watch. Testing it with my own exercise data. In the next decade, sports health might just be the next big thing after smartphones. Smart health is definitely a booming market. Mr. Gu, you're interested too? Is the technology ready though? Didn't someone just die running a marathon? The media criticized the fitness watch he was wearing. Right, right. I remember that. If fitness watches had better predictive capabilities, they could give warnings. 
Perhaps Mr. Gu has a solution. To overcome this challenge? Certainly. He's an expert for a reason. Gu Xu. It really is you. It's me. Wei Ming. Lin Shuang's husband. Your college mate. Let's have a drink together. No, no. I don't drink much. Still testing. You two chat. Let's catch up another time then. All right. All right. Mr. Wei, you two know each other? My wife's classmate. Oh. If you can't drink, don't force it. I had breakfast at the office today. Hey, Xuanzi. What's up? Look at you. Hoarding all these toys and clothes for a long time. They say declutter. But when you really try, it's hard to let go. These things, I take these out every year, and every year I pack them back. Besides taking up space, they just give some emotional comfort, I guess. Your husband, Mr. Wei, works weekends too? How's your cousin lately? Become much better? Not really. Why? What happened? Seems she's fallen for her married man. Seriously? These mistresses today, so dramatic. I read a really well-written article today. He said, there's person, make a scientific study, with monkeys in a zoo. Outside the cage, there are so many bananas but not one monkey. Went out to eat them. Do you know why? It's because the monkeys aren't sure if there's danger beyond those bananas outside the cage. Men who cheat are the same. To them, marriage is the cage they rely on. Yes, outside that cage, there are uncertainties, that little temptation. Even the monkey knows a moment's temptation can't compare to lasting stability. Men need security too, especially like your cousin's husband, successful men. A stable marriage for their careers is so crucial. It's a huge advantage. Even though they betray the marriage, we still have to tread lightly and figure out what they're thinking, waiting for their decision. Then, isn't he the one she chose? Let me comfort you a bit. No matter if the mistress claims love, Men still care about the marriage. From beginning to end, no one seems to care the woman. It's as if everyone assumes in the marriage the woman is always to hold on. Mistresses are detestable. But she did say something right. Being in an unloving marriage with a husband who's drifting away is indeed a waste of time. Why do you sound more poetic than the mistress? Being married for so many years, 
elderly children, home responsibilities, big and small, it's the woman who's always concerned. Let me tell you, even a successful husband is our achievement. Every bit of the home we've paid for with our youth, why hand it over to another? For what reason? Beyond assets, in life there are many more important things. Between a husband and wife, if there isn't the basic respect and trust, every day after that is sheer agony. That's true. But life has to go on. From what I've seen, among my friends, those who divorced aren't happier. Men are different, even if they leave with nothing. After a few years, they bounce back. Even if a woman gets the house, the car, the kids, for women our age, finding jobs, or even dating, you can't even part with those clothes. Letting go of this marriage will be so hard for you. Enough. Let's hurry up. Come on. I once firmly believed I wouldn't be like most housewives, losing themselves in endless Sisyphean sacrifices. But looking back, I'm startled to realize I'd long lost the sharpness I once had, becoming numb day by day. When did it start? When did I start losing myself? Coral shade. Coral color. My boyfriend's favorite color. Is it pretty? Got a date tonight? Does his wife know about you two? Whether she knows or not, they're bound to split sooner or later. Even if they do split, doesn't necessarily mean you'll step in. For women, Every step in a relationship is a gamble. That's why I've decided to take a shot. How confident are you about winning him over? I don't know how much of a chance I have. But I do know his wife can't stand to lose. At the gambling table, the more you have to lose, the more fearful you become. But I'm different. I have nothing. So I'm not afraid to lose. Moreover, the one who loses might not be me. I think you've got it wrong. Those with nothing to bet can't even join the game. Don't be moved by your own emotions. You just haven't realized the price you're about to pay. Besides, what do you hope to gain? In this situation, a man's loyalty is the least reliable. No matter how it ends, the mistress always loses out. The mistress? Moreover, no matter the reason, you shouldn't break up someone else's family. Sorry. Didn't see someone was here. No wonder you're always dressed so provocatively. Turns out you're someone's mistress. I knew it. She didn't look like a good person. Uh. Do you know her? What's this vixen's backstory? You got it wrong. We were discussing a trending gossip news.
Ding, ding. You came even in this heavy rain? I came to see you. The sequential data here needs to be filled in. I'll find some references to help you out later. Let's eat now. Come on. Actually, I'm kind of hungry. This is a feast! Look. What do you think? Hmm. Pretty impressive. Of course. Concise and to the point. Clear emphasis. Just look at who my teacher was. Mommy! I'm so itchy! Mommy! I'm so itchy! Mommy! I'm here! I'm here! Mommy, I'm so itchy. Where does it itch? Let me see. Here, here. Does it hurt here? Here. Let me check. Anywhere else? <laughs> it's... It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'll call Dad. It's fine. Mommy, I can't catch my breath from my back. <laughs> come, come, let's go. Mommy will take you to the hospital. It's okay, Guo Guo. You'll be fine. Breathe. Guo Guo. It's okay. It's okay. Mommy will take you to the hospital. Come on, get in the car. Talk to Mom. It's okay. Mommy! I can't breathe. Can't catch my breath. We're almost at the hospital, okay? At work? You're my right-hand man. In life, you take care of me in every way. Mommy, I can't catch my breath. Jiangxi, you're so cunning. Doing all this just to make me unable to leave you, right? Do you want to go somewhere else? Nowhere else. Just want to hold you like this. When will you get divorced? Soon. Marriage is just a piece of paper. All I have in my heart is you. Nurse! Nurse! My child in an allergic reaction! Can you take a look? This is acute urticaria. You as a parent are so careless. Why did you wait till now to bring her? Is it serious, doctor? I'll prescribe some medication. You can go pay first. Thank you. Please take care of her for me. You came alone? Uh. Joe, can you help watch her? Okay. It's okay, don't be scared. Place the water bottle here. I got it. Hey, your hand feels hot. You look pale. Are you running a fever? It's okay. Guo Guo, Mom will be right back, okay? Be good. Are you still feeling bad? Thirsty? Want some water? Guo is sick. Is it serious? Guo Guo, what did you give her to eat? How did she suddenly have an allergy? With the season changing, kids have weaker immunity. You should pay more attention. 
Not to be critical, but you should be more focused on her. She's still so young. Allergies like this can be prevented if you're careful. Gogo is home. She's asleep now. Come on. Come on. You'll feel better after some rest. Lie down slowly. Slowly. Lie down and sleep. You're back. Did you send Guoguo to school? Did you know that Guoguo had an allergic reaction yesterday? We went to the ER. Is it serious? Is she better now? You were so careless. Where were you last night? What could I do? I was entertaining a client. Being with client can't answer the phone? My phone died. It was off. I went to the hospital alone with Guoguo last night. If we had been any later, Guoguo could have gone into shock. I called you 12 times. Didn't you hear me? My phone died. Your phone was dead today. Tomorrow have business trip. How many excuses do you have? How can they be excuses? Everything I said is true. Wei Ming, does this home no matter to you at all? Our child had such a major incident. Don't use our child as an excuse with me. I don't care about our family. From dawn to dusk, isn't it all for this home? I don't have time for this. Stop right there! We're settling this today! Hello? Hello, are you Mr. Wei? Yes. Your package. Thank you. Mr. Wei, hello. Your tie was left in the suite last night. Your colleague asked us to deliver it to your home. Who's playing this sick joke? What kind of prank is this? Wei Ming, are you still denying it? Denying what? I've never been to that hotel. You've never been to the hotel? I haven't. If you haven't been there, what's this? Those young guys from marketing department tried to pull a fast one on me. Those bastards always up to no good. Acting! Keep acting! After all these years, you doubt me? At work, I have no time to eat. Where would I find the time for such nonsense? That's a question about you. I work like a dog for this family all day. Your occasional grumbles, I can let those slide. But now, you're using this against me. What do you want me to do to satisfy you? Wei Ming, you know exactly what you have done for me. Now that you can't hide it and pin it all on me, don't be so despicable. Lin Shuang, I've had enough of you! When you have nothing to do at home, you act like Sherlock Holmes. The one who doesn't want to live a normal life now is you. The one causing problems is you. Whatever this crap is... Don't think you can smear me with it. Actually, I've Dad! Already... Stop yelling at Mom! Mom feels bad now. She is still sick. She's running a high fever now. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> guo Guo. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. I know mom is sick. Be good. Don't cry. And for dad, take good care of mom. Let her rest and recover. Mommy. Are you okay? Mom's fine. Mom's okay. <laughs> now that dad's gone, no one can bully you. <laughs> Between me and dad, just have some conflicts. Do all grown-ups quarrel such violently because of disagreement? Uh... The issue between your dad and me is a bit significant. Guo Guo? Mom's feeling a bit under the weather, so I'll ask Grandma to pick you up and have you stay at her place for a few days. Mom wants to rest a bit. Is that okay? Okay. About Dad and Mom. Don't mention anything it to others. Understood. It's okay. Mom's okay.